So let's not waste any time today. Let's get right into the tactic testing because this tactic talks for itself. This is one of the best free for all threes you are ever going to play with. It is an incredible Johan Cruyff diamond tactic. And let's get into it. So this one was randomly generated, this team. The other two teams I picked because it's relevant to him. But this one is a random one and we still come out and absolutely dominated it. I'm not too common. Not, I've got a great bit of knowledge on the Swedish division, but... Still, a very, very good display. We won the Premier Division and also the Swedish Cup, scoring 78 goals and only conceding 26. Now, this is really impressive because three at the back systems are always quite difficult to actually be defensively solid. And this one could be even harder because we are a very attacking. Obviously, you've got to play attractive eye. Attractive eye? Attractive football to the eye, as Cruyff would say. Um, that was sort of the main purpose of this system. So, to be conceding this little is also a very, very good standout stat. And if we go into the data hub real quickly, general performance, 2.7 six goals per game which is absolutely incredible um obviously the better standard team you use obviously the more goals you're going to be seeing but anything over two and a half goals per game i'm more than happy with and this is the real standout one it's why it makes this a lot more acceptable that it's not sort of around three because when you're defending this solidly as well with this tactic it just it makes it a very total football tactic you know you can do pretty much everything um it defends well under a goal a game and obviously scoring over two and a half goals a game so a very very good tactic overall in terms of pretty much everything this season if we go into the squad right now the goal section i'm really happy with because typically and you are going to notice it a lot a lot of the goals are going to be coming through that main striker and that's completely fine um because if that doesn't happen you have also got a couple of extra players that are going to get involved reasonably heavy um this obviously didn't didn't feel like it went on as long this division compared to others but still what we are seeing here is that it's not purely reliant on one but there is going to be a standout figure which isn't too bad in some tactics in my opinion and you also obviously got, got other contributions here they all chip in and help which obviously is what you require but the main sort of standout ones are going to be these sort of three here which are going to be sort of the forward plays which you, you could expect but in terms of the assisters we're going to have a variety of different people getting involved we've obviously got 17 15 13 8 6 6 3 3 so you know quite a few people getting involved with an okay slash very good amount of assists which is exactly what we want to be seeing and that is for me pretty much the reason why i'm happy to release this because you've got a tactic here that replicates how he plays for one which is obviously the main prospect of the video the second one is it performs in the game attackingly it does and defensively it does so for me a sensational season here from aik do educate me with the swedish division though below are these a good team in the swedish division or not in real life because i really am not sure but let's hop over anyway to the next save just want to say quickly before we do carry on with the video though if you are enjoying it so far be sure to leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel it's completely free and do so on notifications and if you do want to see me a little bit more do come over to my twitch again it's a great community we're live streaming all day this week so do come over get involved there's tons of stuff going on possibly a few giveaways in the future as well so do come over the link is in the description and just come and have a good time so Ajax now this obviously is a team we had to include and I'm glad we did because it was a real real good season for us here we enjoyed some great football very good statistics as well we obviously dominated the Dutch division I say dominated seven points I'd say it's quite a comfortable season in my opinion we also took home the Johan Cruyff shield again very good to see considering that is going to be the player we're going to be basing this tactic around or the manager as well you can't forget that side of it and you know what overall just a very very good season 119 goals scored which is what we want to be seeing and only 24 conceded and one thing which i will say um in this as well this sort of you know booking if you are concerned about the bookings i'm going to be talking how you could possibly get a few less of them but in terms of the actual you know overall this doesn't affect me really too much as you can see we only resulted in one red card from that so it's not it's not a real real big issue in my opinion and it does having that sort of aggressive factor does really help with this tactic if we go into the data hub though general performance now this is what i was saying guys because this is a massive jump up from 2.6 we're looking at 3.5 goals per game which is absolutely nuts in my opinion you're looking you know it, it is genuinely over three basically three and a half goals a game and you could still concede them way under a goal a game sitting at 0.71 so you are literally dominating every football match you go into conceding hardly any and scoring over three and up well, we bang on three and a half goals if you want to be exactly to the dot but we'll say three because that's obviously the, the main sort of figure here and we obviously got more than our expected as well um we outperformed the expected conceded as well and even the pass completion is relatively good as well so overall not much we can really slate from this season a very good season and we're going to have a little bit of time to look at some of the players um i don't know why i'm going to go by the goals first we'll go by the goals so again this is what exactly what i wanted to see so 
We're going to have the one standout player, as to be expected. But now, now we're a little bit better of a better team, possibly played a few more games in this division as well. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight players that, in my opinion, contribute quite a significant amount of goals going forward other than that one key figure up top so this is purely down to the teams that you use obviously you, you guys you, you guys know that yourself the better team you use the better results typically you're going to get but still it is a it this tactic can sometimes, you know, it's beautiful to play, but you have got to get it right. You've got to get the right players to fit the system. So you guys are probably going to outperform me in terms of the testing because you can build your team exactly around this tactic, especially if you plan to use it long term, which I would advise doing. In terms of the assists, we've got 29 coming in from Tadic. We've got Kudas, fantastic talent, coming in um, with 25, 19 for Taylor, Carson with 12, 12 for a campus, Berghaus coming in with 10, and then even a few down here, to be fair. But the main real standout thing here is simply the goal contributions. There's tons of people getting involved from all over the pitch, even some more defensive midfield players as well. So it's a really good thing to see and something we can be proud of with this tactic. So two out of two so far, successful tests. Let's go over to the big one. Well, you can probably guess who this was going to be because if Johan Cruyff, whenever we test with a manager, we always make sure we get the most important clubs in the video because it just makes it a little bit more of a personal touch, you know. So Barcelona were always going to be in there and we were so close to winning the quadruple this season. Unfortunately, we just slipped up in the um, Champions League final. Again, if I was managing that myself and not simulating, I, I feel like we could have won it because I possibly would have tweaked a few things if we went a goal up, which we did which is very annoying. But do you know what? Overall, still a fantastic season. Um, winning the Spanish division um, by six points, obviously ahead of Real Madrid. We won the Spanish Cup and the Spanish Super Cup. We scored 138 goals and only conceded 31, which is still very impressive with this tactic. Zero red cards, which is always good to see. And if we go into the data hub right now, general performance, this is actually topping the Ajax one, which does surprise me because there's a lot of competitive teams in this division. So this does just show that, you know, you're not going to be only scoring over three goals a game if you're sort of the one dominant team in a division. There's a lot of good teams in this division that can defend. And we've come out and scored over 3.5. We've scored 3.63 compared to the expected 3.36. And the, the goals conceded as well is really, really good. 0.82 compared to the expected 0.95. I mean, it is a ridiculously great defensive display and an even better, more attacking display, as you can expect from this tactic. But you know what? Overall, again, we're going to see a very, very similar pattern. Obviously, we've got some fantastic players in this team, as you can see. Obviously, Lewandowski being one of them. Absolute star man. I mean, he is genuinely a ridiculous player. What a player he is. Honestly, one of the best players I think we've possibly ever used. Um, his goals to game ratio is absolutely nuts. Um, Genuinely a crazy striker. I mean, fair play to him. That's what you can do, though. If you have a good season with Lewandowski, you're absolutely laughing. And that's what we've done. Obviously, you can see here. He managed to return us 107 goals, um, which is absolutely ridiculous. 19 from Pedri, Gavi with 17. We've got Fatty with 11, 11 from Memphis, Dembele with 9, Araujo with 8, 7 with Torres. Um, so again, Lewandowski is going to take majority of the credit for this one, but there are still, obviously, to be fair, um, there are a couple of low knees in here, so ignore them, but there are still a lot of other players getting involved with the goals, which is, which is very nice to see. If we go in terms of the assists right now, we will unselect that. We're going to do this again because these are actually all our players. And we'll include Dion. 24, 18, 18, 17, 17, 15, 15, 14, and 9. Um, and still some names to mention down here as well. So this is what's going to happen. When you are scoring goals, obviously that means more assists. And boy, pretty much everyone was getting involved with the assists. It's going to be Fernand Torres actually coming in with the most assists, which does make sense. He is one of the sort of attacking players, one of the creative players. And usually the wide players or the, you know, the wide attacking players in this system do naturally do really really well um so in my opinion you know what i think it's three very successful tests i know you could you know you could possibly have the champions league but i do genuinely believe if i was managing that myself and didn't simulate we went a goal up i possibly would have tweaked a few things as i am going to tell you what to do if you're in that situation but overall three very successful tests um yeah let's go ahead and watch some of these games so the first game is going to be a 7-1 win against Sevilla. And I've just realized we have got Depay. That is because this was tested before, obviously, the actual transfer. Um, well, not the actual transfer. That was done, but I forgot to do the database. So that's why we have got Memphis in this scenario. But it was Lewandowski that picked up the majority of the stuff anyway across the season. As he does do a little bit of good link-up play there, though, into Rafinha, into the left-hand side of the goal. And realistically, with this tactic, you're going to see so many different chances created. You can see here, Ansu Fati actually goes wide, but he decides to go back into the middle. And it was a great decision because look 
look at the run here, right through from Gavi to Memphis, who goes through, hits it, so much power, the keeper sort of just collapses to his knees, and it's quite an easy goal for Depay in the end. Pedri out wide here, great great bit of play there, into Gavi, a more direct approach there, it's a bit of a poor clearance as Fatty picks it back up, into Pedri, a wonder ball through, and you can see how simple this tactic makes it to actually go from sort of high up the pitch, sort of high up the pitch, all the way through. It does help having players like Pedri and Gavi though, for sure, as Gavi with the ball there, into Ansu Fatty, look at that run inside, but he was always going to play. It's actually going to be Lewandowski that picks up the ball. I thought it was going to be going to Memphis who made the run, but Lewandowski sort of steals the chance, but that's always going to happen with him. He tucks in another pen there to make what is going to be 5-0, a very, very, very dominant game. We go again here. Memphis sort of cuts back. Loads of options, as you can see. The great thing about this tactic is, although he has gone to this player now, we can see, he literally had three players he can pass to here, um, and one or two of them being very creative players as well. Pedri picks up the ball and he's actually just going to take a touch and think, do you know what? With so many goals up, this team are awful. Let's have a pop. And that's what he does. And he does it so, so well in this team. Pedri, again, going out wide here. He's going to cut it back into Gavi. Again, look at the options now. I want you to see here. So... The ball, you know where it's going to go now. We can see the pass being played. But Gavi, when he picks up the ball in this area, um, he has literally got potential ball here into Memphis. He could sort of cross into here. He could also go short to Lewandowski, who is, could then play it through into Memphis. He'd be more than onside. A simple pass into here would have worked. Then through to Memphis, through on goal. He's obviously got the run of Rafinha. He's also a bit more time, and we've got an overlap and run from Ansu Fati. And this is what makes this tactic so good, because there's so many options. There's literally four choices he could have made, and all of them would probably would have resulted to at least a shot on target. But we're going to see how this one plays out. It goes over the top into Rafinha, who touches it down and just slots it into the bottom left. So it was a very good shout. And we are going to look at the goal that goes in because we're not afraid to show that on this channel. It does happen. Um, but to be fair, we actually we conceded a lot less than what we should have done. And to be fair, it was a, it was just a very good run. I'm a fantastic striker, by the way, in that. I'm a very, very good player. I think I tested him... Um, a rebuild I signed him in now, but a fantastic striker. But overall, a very, very dominant performance. I mean, another thing you're going to notice a lot of possession in this tactic as well, um, as you can probably expect. And it's just a ton of fun to play with. It really is. So this was one of the games we're going to watch. We've probably got time to watch another. So we'll go ahead and do that now. I'll pick this one out because it just shows that this tactic can also perform in a sort of underdog scenario. Obviously, Juventus have got the better team on paper in this game. And we were also a couple of goals down going into this in terms of the actual leg. But we've come out and clutched up and won four nil against the full strength Juventus side which we will also be showing you at the end of the game and these are going to be the goals then so it's going to be out wide now playing back into a more central area into Kudus who's got the pace to burn he goes across is he going to go alone oh it's a little bit of an unlucky one from them to be fair Kudus sort of drives what looked to be quite a poor shot into the defender and the goal comes from it he picks it up again here though there's nothing poor about that I knew that run was going to happen is it going to go back into the center it is and that is what I love to call liquid football so much good play coming from that. Obviously, the player finding the overlap and run wide, then bringing it back into a central area where Bergvine's got an easy tap in. Tadic, there you go. We're seeing the set piece finally, as it is going to be Tadic putting an absolute peach in to Yuri and Timber. Tadic again out wide, a more direct approach this time. I'm into Bergvine, completely through, one on one, takes it past him, the cheek of that. Absolutely great stuff from this Ajax side. A real, a real treat to test with as well, to be fair. But as you can see, it's a full strength um, Juventus side. You've got Chesney, Quadrado, Benucci, Bremer, Danilo, Paredes, um, Tapia, Pogba, Chiesa, Kostic, Milik. Um, also, quite a decent bench as well, to be fair. You can see some of the players that did come off. Um, you've got Locatelli, McKenney, Di Maria, Vlalovic. You've got some real, real good players. And we've come out and made them look like a League Two side at the end of the day. We've dominated the shots. But the main thing, we've dominated possession against a team with a really good midfield, in my opinion. So it just shows how good this can actually play, even against the top teams. Right, we're now about to break down the tactic, guys. But if you are enjoying yourself, be sure to leave a like on it. It does mean a lot. And if you do want to get involved, by the way, please do join the Discord server. It's in the description and it's completely free to join. And also, as I do like to mention, please do come over to the Twitch right now because we are going to be live every single day this week. It's going to be roughly from 5.30 p.m. GMT every single day. And we're doing a nice mixture of a new save we've got going and also some viewer fantasy drafts. A ton of you guys have come over. And do you know what? It's just a really, really good vibe. The chat's popping. We're all friendly. And there's going to be loads of stuff going on. So do come over and enjoy yourself. Trust me, you'll, you won't regret it. It'll be a good time.
So this is the Johan Daly's 343 Diamond. Now this was made obviously on Last FM. It has been requested pretty much since the start of this game. So can I remake it? Can I improve it? And I believe I have. There's a few tweaks that have come in and it definitely is a little bit better now in my opinion. Now I will say quickly, um, there are tons of suggestions coming from you guys and I love to read them. What I have done is, and you, if you're a long term viewer, you'll, you'll know that I never plug this. I think I've actually mentioned I've got it once, but I have introduced a new community member perk, which is where you get priority in tactic requests. Now this doesn't mean you have to sign up to get a tactic request because i'm not i'm not like that at all but just because i've literally i've got around about 39 different tactics um that you guys want to see because i note down literally everything um so if you want your one push to the top um you are more than welcome to sign up it's not a required thing um but your tactic will be coming either way so don't think it won't be but i've just had to do that just because then obviously you know there's a little bit of an incentive there if you do wish to support the channel a little bit further but you know what let's focus on this because this is the main important story and we're going to kick things off now by going in to let's do let's do the team instructions first so we're going to kick things off then with the mentality it is going to be set to attacking purely because he wanted to outscore teams that was his that was his aim of football and to play attractive stuff so again you could go in as positive if you want to concede a little less but to be honest we never really conceded many anyway but that is completely up to you in possession you want fairly wide pass into space play out of defense standard slightly higher work the ball into the box with mixed crosses. Now, if you're chasing a game, you could definitely have run at defense and be more expressive on. Just be aware, having these on are going to leave you a little bit more vulnerable at the back as it's pretty common sense that anyway. But just remember, you haven't got a fullback, so it could leave you even more vulnerable. But if you're desperately needing the goal, obviously that is something you could look to do. You could also look to increase the tempo. Obviously, it's not maxed out. You could increase that tempo to get really in their face if this is required. In transition, you want counter press, distribute quickly, distribute to the centre backs and take short goal kicks. Out of possession, you want a higher defensive line, a high press line of engagement more often and prevent your goalkeeper distribution. And that's going to be the, that's going to be the team instructions pretty much broken down. Um, the one thing I will say is the higher defensive line, this is one thing if you're not fussed about completely replicating how Johan Cruyff plays, you could drop this line and it would make it a little bit more of a balanced tactic, um, which I would probably recommend going in against um, some of the bigger, bigger teams because um, that might have been something I would have done in the Champions League final, for example. But obviously, I simulate these so we stick to one sort of tactic. Now, the player roles. A sweeper keeper on support on take more risks. Two wide centre-backs now on defend, pass it shorter, tackle harder, cross from deep, hold position, stay wider. On the left-hand side, we've got pass at shorter, tackle harder, cross from deep, hold position, and stay wider. And then one ball playing defender in the middle, pass at shorter, dribble more, tackle harder, take more risks, and hold position. And that is going to be these three. Now, obviously, you need wide centre-backs. I may have seen some tactics where they have them all the way out here, and they have sort of full-backs in that, but I personally believe it was centre-backs just being used very wide. Um, Again, you can look to take tackle harder off, but for me, I sort of like that intensity, that aggression. Now, in the midfield, we've got a deep line playmaker on defend, take more risks, tackle harder, shoot less often, dribble less and hold position. And then next to him, we've got a box to box midfielder, very crucial in this team on support, dribble more, shoot less often, tackle harder and run from position. Apart from that, we've got a central midfielder on automatic, dribble more and move into channels. That is going to be the midfield broken down. And then we go into the sort of, you know, the three and then obviously the, the, the pretty much the one up top because it is going to be your three. This is classed as the four and this is classed as the three. So it is shaped like a diamond, to be fair. On the left hand side, we've got an inverted winger on support. Take more risks, aim the crosses at the center, stay wider, tackle harder, dribble more and cut inside with the ball. On the right hand side, we've got an inverted winger on attack this time. Take more risks, cross the aim, cross the aims, aim the crosses at the center. This is always worded so weird. Stay wider, tackle harder, dribble more, cut inside with the ball and get further forwards. And in the middle, we've got an attacker midfielder on attack. Take more risks, dribble more, row from position and get further forwards. And that leaves us with one more player, which is going to be the advanced forward on attack. Take more risks, dribble more, shoot more often and move into channels. And that's going to be the tactic broken down, guys. As I said, um, there's several things you can do to tweak this. So if you're defending the game, you could even look to drop this player down here along with this guy here and sort of have a four in midfield. Um, you could look to possibly drop one of these down here as well and then obviously move this guy up there or e even have three defensively. It depends on how defensive you want to go. There's tons of stuff you can do in the games. Obviously, this is stuff you have to do as you think of it. Um, but no, it's a real, real fun tactic to use. One that I think is done really, really well. I do apologize about the delay on how long it's taken, but obviously there are a ton of suggestions. Um, if you want to see what's coming up this week, by the way, do go over to the community tab because you can see I posted a full schedule and it is going to be a ton of fun 
trust me. Guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Do come over to the Twitch. You're going to be live tonight. When you're seeing this video, we are going to be live pretty much an hour and a half later after that. So around 5.30 to 6 p.m. GMT. So do come over. Let me know what you think of today's video. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. And I will see you in the next one.